community, as a newly appointed principal, I've noticed that you know they've all come together in order to be able to provide all of these goods and non-perishable items. And our students, the message that we're sending to them is that they need to be able to help those that are less fortunate. And it's working out pretty well because they're filling up those boxes fast. The Spirit of Giving season has begun. Go to our website, click on the Spirit of Giving button to find out more about Dunray Gardens and the Glee Club and how you can donate. Hey guys. Happy Holidays! Just about everything is going on. The gym has been turned into a winter wonderland. Jack Frost came to visit. There was caroling before and now there's milk and cookies and oh my gosh, it's also pajama day. It's a ton of fun. collecting non-perishable goods, filling the boxes, and whoever wins gets the most points and gets a dress down day at a school with a uniform that is very valuable. They also have a little coffee house set up here where people are taking turns singing, playing piano, playing ukulele and guitar, and entertaining each other because lunch hour is entertaining here at Lester B. Pearson High School. And these young artists are very, very talented. In this building, you've got three schools, Venture, Elizabeth, and Options High School. Options is part of the outreach networks, and it helps people People who don't feel like they're the round peg in the square hole that classroom idea works for them so this outreach alternative school gives them smaller class sizes and a bigger chance to succeed Elizabeth school is for young mothers or pregnant students who want to continue their education and I just learned they are also very artistic because the cupcakes they are making are fantastic <laughs> in Saint Laurent. They've got a lot going on. So like you said, the Olympics upstairs in the gym, it's all about physical literacy and moving around, putting down the device. They're playing soccer, they're learning boxing, there's also a karate workshop. What a great way to spend your lunch hour. And then here in the Agora, the band is playing and you've got the dance students as well working out some holiday moves. <laughs> That's right, Paul, and I'm telling you, there is a lot of spirit here at this elementary school north of the Metropolitan. Uh, they're right in the middle of a performance, actually. So we just had the xylophones perform, and we're now waiting for the school choir to come in to entertain the grandparents that you can see here behind me. The kids today, and joining me now is Camilla. Camilla, are you having a good day today? Yes. Yeah, you guys did an entire Spirit of Giving week. What was your favorite part? This one. Today? Why today? Because I like decorating and I want to show you guys a trick. You want to show me a trick? Let's see your trick. What do you do here? So what I do is I have four M&M's. Yeah, she's got her M&M's already and her icing sugar. Mm -hmm. With my icing. Yes. I put oh. it on it. Yeah. And they act like glue, right? Uh-huh. Put it. Okay. And now I pretend it's a cupcake. <laughs> and then she pretends it's a cupcake and in her mouth it goes, not on the cookie. I think we've got enough on the cookie right now. And as you can see, the cookie decorating is going very well here at St. Dorothy Elementary School. Paul, take a look at all of that icing on Eleanor's cookie. I have a feeling the teachers may have a bit of a challenge ahead of them this afternoon. There's a lot of sugar here in this room. Paul, we're just having a great time with CTV's Spirit of Giving campaign. Yeah. 